They have a section for each like type of animal. Six-legged hippopotamus, bigger than my arm. Ribbit. Pretty interesting right there. I Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. So I'm actually at a beach in Connecticut. It's Hammonasset, I think. And they actually have a nature center. So they have different birds, fish, woods. Like they have a section for each like type of animal. So we're gonna go ahead and tour this whole place. But first let's go ahead and get into the fish. And I do apologize because I already recorded all of the fish. There are people in here, so it was a little bit noisy. So I apologize, but go ahead and roll that footage. So right here, there's the first tank I was in front of. They got like, I don't know what those are. I'm not really familiar with salt water. But they got some really big ones. <laughs> These things are massive. What are they? They're not touch screens. Okay, well then tell me what it is. All right, so we're gonna go over here. This is fresh water. You know, we know fresh water over here. We got a catfish. I'm not really familiar with like big fish like this just because I don't really own any big fish just yet. Pretty sure that's like, I don't, I don't really know, honestly guys. Back here we got a pumpkin seed right there. And I don't remember what that is. Probably a trout. I think that's trout. I don't really remember. Giant tank right here. There's also like another catfish. Some sort of catfish right there. Ooh, they got two lobsters. These are blue lobsters. You guys all know these. Everyone has these in their aquariums. I haven't gotten them just yet, but I'm gonna get some like mini versions of them. And then over here, more fresh, or this is brackish water actually. We got some crabs. I don't know what these fish are either. I know this is really bad. I literally have an entire fish channel and can't even name half these fish. That's that's pathetic. This is these are the African cichlids. Those are not African cichlids. Those are neon tetras. Those are not neon tetras. And they're the the blowfish. Those are those are not blowfish either. That is the That's a hippopotamus. No, that is a six legged hippopotamus right there. That's what that is. is it actually? It's a crab. It's a hippopotamus here? Oh my god. Wait, is that like an elephant type of sort of thing? Huh? Does it look like an elephant almost? Hippopotamus, but like. Sure, sure. I just woke up. <laughs> I know you just I woke just up because you just slept on the beach the whole time. They got a fiddler crab in there. They also have some other fish in here. These are really cool. They got like stripes on them and stuff. More brackish water. Over here, they got a saltwater tank. We got, oh, we got a seahorse. Oh my God. I cannot wait to get seahorses in a saltwater tank. So nice. And they got some right there. Wow, I've never seen a real life seahorse. You've never seen them? Mm -mm. You know I, only saw, I only saw one in Nemo. Did you know that the males give birth? Okay, at least you knew that. And then we got some like, they kind of look like pencil fish almost, but like salt water version. Oh, what is that? That looks like a salt water water cow. That thing is so cool. It looks like a zebra. Is it dead? No, it's not dead. Maybe? I don't know. It looks really cool though, dead or alive. <laughs> and then they only have these little tiny fish in here. That is a ske skeletal eye fish. There's some other like fish scattered out throughout here. These are all saltwater fish, so I don't really, not really familiar with them. And this right here, oh my God, these things are huge. This thing is like the size, this is bigger than my arm. This thing is huge, there's two of them in here. And I think those are little baby versions. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think they're babies. I don't know if you guys can see them, they're like right back there. But these things are massive. And over here, there's a touch tank, but unfortunately it's closed right now. Um, but there's a ton of stuff. There's some crabs, different types of shell dwelling fish, puffer fish right there bunch of different fish right here some bigger crabs right there tons and tons of crabs that's for sure that is a giant crab in that show oh they got a whole lobster what up bro and they got a bunch of other fish oh and here's a horseshoe crab those things i don't like how those things look they scare me i don't like them <laughs> they creep me out it looks like a giant bug it does that's what it looks like a giant bug oh look at how cute this little puffer is oh my god he's so cute I cannot wait to get a saltwater tank, brackish tank, everything, and have puffer fish. It's gonna be so nice. What up, doe? What up, doe? Answer me. All right, so that is it for the fish anyway. Freshwater, brackish, saltwater, everything. So let's go ahead and roll some B-roll of that, and then we'll go into the next section of the nature center. Now, this is all a bunch of stuff that I'll definitely be getting 
when I move into my own place, but there's so many reptiles. We're gonna go ahead and start over here, but there are, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> you look like you belong in one of the tanks. <laughs> that was loud. There are so many tanks. So let's go ahead and go through these and a little pond in the middle. So let's go. All right, so right here we got like a nice little snake tank and he is watching me, man. It isn't melanistic, I don't think, because there is white like underneath the scales, but still really cool snake. What is down here? Oh, we got some tortoises. What up, bud? I wonder what is in here. I'm guessing some sort of frog, probably. Yeah, there's a toad, an eastern spadefoot toad. Probably hiding somewhere behind the wood where I can't see him, but he's definitely in there. Down here we got a little snake. This is an eastern garter snake. Um, I have seen one of these in person, like outside in a garden. Nice little snake right there. I don't know what is in here. I don't think there's anything in here because the screen isn't on or maybe it's just broken. I don't know, but I don't see anything in here either. So not sure what's in there. Down here looks like there is a snake in here. It looks like he beat the crap out of his tank. That's for sure. Over here, we got a toad. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> I don't know what is in here. There's some dead fish. So I don't really know what's in there. This is actually snake skin right here. I'm guessing from that guy right there. Oh, what is this? Northern water snake. So it's a non-venomous snake here. Got some stripes. Really cool snake. I haven't decided yet. Oh, there's two of them. I haven't decided yet if I want to own snakes in the future, but definitely something I want to look into. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, down here we have a, a brackish turtle. Northern diamondback. What is that? Terrapin? Pretty cool. His spots are really nice. I like his pattern. Pretty interesting right there. I will definitely 100 thousand percent have turtles when I move into my own place because that is like one of that's an animal that I've always wanted my entire life it's my favorite animal and I unfortunately just haven't been able to own one yet so definitely want that <laughs> pretty much like half of these animals in here at least I definitely want we got a smaller version of that guy right there so that's just a little baby that's a big one. Oh, and down here we got a huge bullfrog what up doe it's a giraffe he's a, it's actually a giraffe they, they marked it wrong that's a giraffe. Like, I gotta, I gotta talk to them about this. They don't even know what their animals are. That's, that's crazy. So this snake is venomous, but I don't see it. So I guess they maybe took it out or something. Here we got another American toad. I've caught these in the wild, like in my backyard and stuff. Oh, there's two of them actually. And over here we got a wood frog. I've caught a million of these. I actually tried to keep some in captivity before um, when I was like really young, didn't know what I was doing. And unfortunately it died. Um, like all the frogs that I tried to keep were because they were from the wild and we got them from a pool with chlorine, so. I didn't really know what I was doing back then. I was like less than 10, so. Unfortunately, they did all pass away, so RIP to all the frogs that I killed. And here's, here's a milk snake, but I don't really know where he is. These things are really, really nice though. Uh, someone I knew from school actually bought one of these and had it as a pet. And then moving on to the last thing we got, there's a few of them here. That guy's just chilling on the little filter and that guy's just on the log, but nice little indoor pond for them. I kind of do want to have something like this in my house, um, just cause like, it'd be really cool. You know, it's like a pond, but you can see everything that's in it. It's not underground. And I don't know, it's really cool. So yeah, there are some birds and some other stuff we're gonna go ahead and look at, but I'm probably gonna do a voiceover because it's gonna be a little loud out there. Um, oh, what is this? We got some tree frogs, it looks like. I actually looked into getting one of these like a month ago, but I'm not sure that I wanna get amphibians and reptiles and stuff just yet until I'm able to take care of them full time in my own place. But let's go ahead and just move on to the last few things. I'll do a voiceover like I said. So uh, roll some B-roll of the woods. All right, so uh, this is a bird, as you can see. It's uh, It has blue, but I'm not really familiar with birds, so maybe a blue jay? I, I don't really know. Okay, over here, we have this green bird. Um, so we're going to call this the green bird, and it has um, pink on his head, and he's eating. Nom, 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 nom. And over here, we have another green bird who's trying to eat the cage. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's the birds. All right, well, that was the quick tour of this place. Um, yeah, there wasn't a ton of stuff, but there was definitely a lot of cool stuff, stuff I haven't seen before, and stuff that I definitely want to get um, 
eventually soon. I'll, I get a lot of questions asking if I'm going to expand my content and also just like my animal keeping um, sides, you know, fish and the few hermit crabs I have. And I absolutely 100% will. I get that question like almost every video and I certainly will. Uh, there are a few animals on my bucket list that I've had since I was a kid. So there are definitely some really cool animals that I will be getting and animals that no one else has on YouTube, especially. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn that post notification bell on because you don't want to miss when I get those animals, that's for sure. But that is it for the video, guys. So make sure you guys comment down below, leave a like, subscribe, hit that post notification bell on, and thank you for 23K. So, bye.